until now and I'm very happy it does. A bunch of crafters here on YouTube are celebrating today so I'll put a link to our playlist down below with all of our videos so go check that out if you're interested. Today we're making these emoji cacti which I think turned out so cute and unique and you can change up the designs however you want. You have so much creative freedom here. So I'm really looking forward to what you guys come up with. I am also giving these away to one of you guys, so be sure to watch till the end of this video to find out how to enter. So without further ado, let's get started. For this project, you will need polymer clay. I'm using granite colored clay for the pots, a blade, dotting tools, needle tool, toothpicks, acrylic paint, chalk pastels, parchment paper, and glaze. Liquid clay is optional, and I also use these rubber tip tools, which are super helpful for blending, which I will link below. Let's start by making the plant pots. Roll your clay into a cylinder shape, putting more pressure on one side than the other. Use a blade and make a cut to flatten the top. Then flatten some clay and cut out a strip. Wrap this around the top of the pot and cut off any excess. Smooth out the cut with a rubber tool or your fingers. Once you're happy with your pots, let's start on the cacti. You can pretty much let your imagination run wild and make any shapes you want for the cacti. For the first one, I'm adding on some heart eyes. To make the hearts, use a blade or craft knife to cut out a V shape. Then, using a rubber tool or dotting tool, shape out the heart. Make an indent for the mouth and paint it in using some brown acrylic paint. Then add on some pink clay for the blush. I don't know what it is about adding in these tiny dots of pink clay, but I think it makes it so much cuter. For this next one, I'm making a ridge texture by adding vertical indents with my needle tool. You can use a toothpick for this too. Next, I'm adding in the laughing crying face. Indent the face, paint over it, and then add on the tears. I also added on a little pink flower to the top. Repeat these techniques for the rest of your cacti. You can't really go wrong with this since they come in such a large variety of shapes and sizes. They'll turn out cute no matter what. For the blushing face, lightly dust some pink chalk pastels to the cheeks. Once you're happy with your cacti, we can add them to their pots. 
take a craft knife or a blade and make cuts to the bottoms to flatten them. This is completely optional, but I added a drop of liquid clay to each of the pots to help the pieces stick together. As you can see, I was having a bit of a hard time getting these to stick to their pots. At this point, you can add in eye pins to make them into charms if you wish, but I decided to just keep them as is. Once you're happy with your cacti, place them on parchment paper and they're ready to be baked. Bake using the instructions on your clay package. I'm baking mine at 270 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 minutes. After they're out of the oven and have completely cooled down, we can paint on the extra details. First, paint the top of the pots with brown acrylic paint for the dirt. Then add on whatever patterns you want to the cacti and pots. I added some white dotted stripes to the cacti and triangle and zigzag patterns on the pots. As always, you have full freedom here, so have fun with it! Let your paint dry completely and then add on a coat of glaze. Glaze is optional, but it seals the paint and gives it a really nice glossy shine. Let that dry completely and you're finished! I had a lot of fun making these and I think they turned out so cute. If you guys end up making your own, I would love to see them. Be sure to tag me on Instagram at puttingfishcakes and I will take a look. You guys are so talented and I love seeing what you guys are coming up with. In my last video, I did a giveaway on these cupcake clothespins, which you can watch right here if you haven't already. You guys actually came up with a lot of desserts that I've never tried before. So thank you for the recommendations, I will definitely be checking those out. But I can only choose one winner, so the winner to that giveaway is... Congratulations! Please email me with your shipping address and we can go from there. If you didn't win this time around, I am giving away these emoji cacti that we made today. All you have to do to enter to win is first, be subscribed to this channel, second, give this video a big thumbs up, and third, comment down below your favorite thing about summer. As always, the winner will be announced in my next video. Thank you all so much for watching, good luck, and I will see you all next time. Bye!